Board members, the boardroom's open again, and today it's scenario three. Last scenario didn't go so well. We're moving on to the Time Warped Angel. The board's set up for scenario three. This is called the Time Warped Angel. The story is as follows. A hero from the past has appeared in the kingdom. She's surrounded by unstable time energy that is causing injuries to other heroes and destroying towers. If we can help her reach the portal that brought her into this time, she'll be able to release the time energy and join our forces in the defense of the kingdom. So, we are escorting Lilith across the board tier. Um, then we get to use her, hopefully, in future scenarios. If there's a tile in front of her at any time when it's time for her to move, we lose the game. So there's that. Uh, so the, there's a different turn sequence in this game. There are no portals that are going to spawn on the board. Just monsters. We spawn new hordes, which the hordes are in play. Now we play tower and hero cards. Destroy horde trays. And then activate Lilith. Then we advance horde trays. So if she cannot move forward, then we lose the game. Plain and simple. Awful, but plain and simple. We start the game with... Uh, it looks like 10 crystals or 9 crystals. Let me double check that. Nine crystals. Get those out. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine crystals in our supply. And, you know, we can keep our supply here. That's fine. All right. Well, we can see that this can't be dealt magic. So it's going to have to be melee towers. Uh, it has to be destroyed because she's going to move forward. So let's get this kicked off, shall we? And we also know that this is going to spawn right here. This is going to spawn here. This is going to spawn here. And we have to upgrade towers. It's a, it's a mess for all. Oh, what's our locked out color? Um, purple looks like a mm, bad choice. I think we need to start. We need to start by activating Malik. Okay, Malik. Got his abilities ready, even though they're upside down. Malik is coming. Um, he can move through her space, no problem. So one, two. Oh, we have to pick a color. We still haven't picked a color to be locked out. That has to happen. Um, one, two, one, two, three. Arrow tower this way. So, yeah, purple can be locked out. That's fine. Yep, purple's locked out. We've got green and orange or green and yellow. So we're activating Malik here. He's going to go one, two, cover these four spots. Wing that hammer of his. Right here using Earthquake. No damage in Malik's space. Then, we're going to place the arrows here. Archer tower, little archer tower. They're going to fire their arrows right there. Got that party started right. I think this is ripe for a mage lightning bolt. Boom. Uh, going to be this shape right here. Then I believe I'll be upgrading. Yep, I'm going to be upgrading two towers. Um, the footman tower and the artillery tower. Artillery will become a howitzer next round. My incoming towers. Footmen become knights in my next incoming round. All right. I've played my heroes cards, my tower cards. Destroy horde trays. There's only one to destroy. It's this one right here. It's going to go boom, just like that. I take no damage because I used my ability that says I take no damage. And I earn myself one big shiny crystal from the bank, the bank of Kingdom Rush. And it says activate Lilith. First, oh no. Yes. First, Draw and resolve a Lilith action card. That's these. 
We have to shuffle them. That's the final action card here. We're going to shuffle these. Okay. It says destroy a tower. Choose a tower adjacent to Lilith and return it to the supply. I lose my archer tower. That's awful. Um, yeah, and all these spots are adjacent to her. So even if I had it here, I was losing a tower. So this is what happened. It burned to the ground that round. Then it says, it, um, then if the space has, uh, in front of Lilith has no horde on it, move her one space towards spawn point three. Cool. We're winning. Um, if she cannot move, you lose the game. Then advance horde trays. So we advance this horde tray. Pick up tower cards. So just this one. And these. And my hero. Uh, spend crystals. All right. You, bet, you better believe we're going to spend some crystals. We do have to be careful. We don't want a bunch of things destroyed next to Lilith, but we do need to spend these uh, two, four, six, eight, ten crystals. Um, let's spend nine, uh, let's spend six to get some level two towers. Uh, I like a marksman since we just lost an archer. That's one. Another level two tower would be, let's get an adept, wizard adept here, or a magic user adept tower. That's six spent. And then I think I'm going to, well, no, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to buy some level one towers. One, two, three, four. I'm going to buy a couple level one towers. Archer. And militia. I feel like we need to make use of those. I think they're very underrated. But then again, I don't win a lot. So there's that. Okay, welcome everybody. We're into round two, uh, where we need to spawn new hordes. I, when you spawn on Lilith, does she move like a hero, or does she stay put? Heroes that move into Lilith's space jump over her. Heroes may move and stay in the same space as Lilith. Heroes that move into Lilith's space jump over her as if she were a horde. Ray, oh, hordes that move into her space. Okay. Um, Lilith activates like a horde, except she moves towards the spawn three point. She acts like a horde, except she moves towards. Does that mean that this spawns right here? That's the question. I don't have that answer. Really wish it was clear. Do I make this harder on me? This is how it would be made harder on me. If this skips Lilith and goes there because she activates like a horde tray. She's not activating though. That's my, that's my dilemma. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm sure it's supposed to be harder, which is not cool. <laughs> um, let's get to playing. Play tower and hero cards. Hey, Cup of Sneak, thanks for joining. Thanks for catching me streaming. I don't know if you've ever played Kingdom Rush, but uh, it beats the crap out of me every time I play it. We are only allowed to play towers on purple and green. Purple, green, purple, green, purple, green, green. And uh, we're just going to try to win. Like, that's the, the goal here. I feel like I'm going to have to call in a friend to help deal with this. Maybe. Let's start with Malik again. Activate Malak Hammer Fury. He's going to move one space here. Covering. Hmm. I have to plan this right. Okay, let's cover. Ah, uh, yes. Cover these three. We'll smash his hammer down. Bam! Right down here, covering three spaces, which means his extra space of damage gets to carry over onto an adjacent. Then, 
we're going to deploy a friend, Alaria. So Alaria up top, we're crossing you off the list because we can't use you any longer. She's going to be deployed right here. She gets to summon her little cat with her. It's going to go right here. And then you know what? We're going to send in the militia marching. Or the footmen, I should say. Oh, I have knights. Well, give me one too many knights, but they're going to march to victory. Here they come. One, two, extra one just doesn't get placed according to the rule, like doesn't go on empties or whatever. So he's just there. We've dealt with this. It can't escape. So now we have to deal with the other three here. I can only play on purple. I need to deal three damage. And it cannot be magic damage here. I believe I made an, well, I didn't make an error in judgment. It's just I'm really putting out a lot of damage. So here we go. Put this archer tower here. I'm totally ignoring all these, which is awful. Maybe I, maybe I won't ignore all of these. Uh, archer tower. Rain some arrows right there. Need one more. Oh, she didn't put out. I don't need an archer tower here. Valeria didn't put out her damage. Back those arrows up for a second. Valeria the hero also gets to shoot diagonally. She's raining some arrows. Two here, one here. That was the plan. So I'm going to play the wizard adept tower on this purple one here. Lightning bolt comes cracking down in this orientation. Going to cover that speedy icon that only moves once instead of twice. I can't cover a lot of this. If I cover, if I don't cover the healers, it's going to he heal completely. And these four are the healers. So I'm just going to resolve to letting it move twice, which is going to move once. This is going to move one twice. That's going to spawn. This is going to be really ugly next round. Hold on a second. Can I cover all the healers? No, because orange is locked out. Okay, it's moving twice. That being the case, let's throw some more damage at this tower or this pile. Marksman, rain some arrows. And spin it any which way I like it. I'm going to spin it this way. Well, let's do it this way for now. I'm going to upgrade my howitzer to the big Bertha. Oh yeah. That's going to deal some mega damage next round. And I might as well upgrade my mage tower here to a new adept for next round. In my militia, I'll upgrade to some footmen. My archer tower. My archer tower is useless too, so I'll upgrade upgrade that to a marksman. I'll have a decent hand next round. So now we move on to destroying horde trays. We've got one, two, go boom. Thank you, Alaria, for your service. Maybe it was too early, but we had to do it. Thank you, knights. It's one crystal. And this one, I will take a damage for standing on a tile when it got destroyed. Malix, oh, he needs a hit point marker. He takes one damage. And I get two crystals. So that's good. Destroy horde trays. Activate Lilith. Don't mind if I do. It moves freely. Oh, first draw. First draw a Lilith card. Oh, and Malik was here. So, I have to destroy a tower adjacent to her for each icon here. So I'm destroying this Knight's Tower. Yuck. Where am I putting these? Over here. Okay, Knights, go back to the pile. Could have been worse. I think that was a good time to draw towers, two towers when there was only one next to her. Then, 
If it's empty in front of her, she moves. Now, we advance horde trays. There is none here. Starting here, number two goes forward once. This one will advance twice because of the speed. One, two, it leapfrogs. I don't like it, but that's what happens. Pick up tower cards. So I pick up my, um, my adept and marksman. And all of these upgraded, plus Malik. Then we spend crystals. Yes, I'm going to spend them as I get them because I'm upgrading towers a lot. That seems to be the way to handle this particular, this particular mission. So I just lost some knights. I think I'm going to spend two to get back another militia. Okay. Orange. Do we lock out orange? No. We keep orange. I think we lock out green. Yeah. For the next round. Spawn new hordes. Well, it skips her, I think. That's how I'm playing it. Got some healers here that I have to deal with. I mean, the end of the, the end of the day, she just needs to escape before our kingdom is thwarted. Lots of anti-melee and anti-magic. Big guys and some healers. Okay. But do I, ha do I ever have some damage to lay down, though? I've got, a, got stuff to do. All right. I think what I do... This isn't moving very fast, so I'm not too worried about that one yet. I think I absolutely... Orange and purple. No green, no green, no green. I think I absolutely obliterate these tiles. Big Bertha. Coming in hot. Ooh. Um, wait, how was I doing this? Yep. This way I'm going to cover... That's melee damage, isn't it? Shoot. Big Bertha, is this what you're doing? I still think so. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, we can spin it any which way we want. So that'll go here. And then this one will go here. Covering these three. We're going to get all these healers covered. That's not going to be a problem. We have to actually, we have to take this whole tile out. So that's not going to be a problem. Um, notice Bertha can hit here, here here, here, and here. So that's a beautiful thing. We have orange to play. Going wrong way. All right, so my plan was this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to execute the plan that, as I had it, which was militia here on purple. March to this spot. Marksman, train some arrows. To this spot. Takes out that tile. I locked out green. That's going to be a sticky situation. Hmm. How was I going to deal with this? Maybe with hero damage. Um, well, actually, it has to be with hero damage. And a little bit of luck. Malik moves forward. Brushing the competition here. Yep, that's what I have to do. Brush the competition there. And then use my hammer time ability to get back another ability. I'm going to get Earthquake back and then use Earthquake. Shake the ground.
here. Then play the militia or the footmen right here. They can go on top of other towers, which is very lucky of me. They're going to march to war here and here. Really didn't think this through, so I have to waste a. Well, it's not super wasted, it's just a little bit wasted. Going to use Ignis He has three movement one, two. You know what? I don't need to use the militia there. Footman there. Hold on a second. Maybe we can use the footman elsewhere. Yes. We can save the footman. In comes Ignis. One, two, three. Covers these. And he uses his basic attack, which is flaming fists. And if it covers exactly two enemies, which it does, place one damage on each adjacent horde. Well, that came in quite handy at the moment. So, the damage here, let's see if we can't, uh, well, let's put it here. Damage, it's magic, so it can't go on magic sides. It can go on this anti-melee, though. Uh, one would go here, but there's nowhere to put it. This is going to get healed if I don't cover all the healers. Now, can I, in some way, shape, or form, cover the rest of these healers? I don't see how. Just maybe. Got purple and orange I can put on. Yeah, I can. Purple. Go orange. Could use a lightning bolt. Crap. Uh, this way. Then I could almost kill that tower. One, two, three, four. Yep. So we'll go here. This adept. Well, not if I want to upgrade this to a wizard tower. Oh, I have to cover the healers. That was the deal. Okay. Adept. Another lightning bolt. Mages are having their way with this tile, uh, this particular horde tile. Okay, I can destroy it. So let's just destroy it. Marksman. Ready, arrows. Fire. Here. Marching to victory. Those militia are going to go here. Hola, Kevin. Otra vez. Si está aquí todavía, bienvenido otra vez. That is all I can do. I didn't upgrade anything this turn. I really hope she doesn't destroy my big Bertha, but she might. That's a lot of damage I put out and three whole towers destroyed. So here goes. Play tower and hero cards done. We used Ignis. He's marked off the list. Uh, destroy horde trays. One, two, three. All gone. Up in smoke. That's the way to do it. Malak does not take any damage because he used a special ability that leaves him of taking damage. He gained protection till the end of the turn. That is three crystals, I think. One, two. Yeah. Definitely three crystals from the bank. Love it. You love it. You love it. Here they are. Okay. Activate Lilith. First, draw and resolve a Lilith card. Please, oh please, don't be what I think you are. Okay, I take a damage with Malak, and power is destroyed. You know, I wish I put a fake, well, I had to destroy all that, but if I had put a power bait here, it wouldn't have destroyed my big Bertha. That's okay, it came in really handy. 
I'm glad I got to use it when I did. Uh, I take a damage with Malik, so he's going to have to recover next turn. Advance Horde Trays. Well, this one moves once. This one moves once. Oh, I moved Lilith also. If the space is in front of her empty, she moves. Okay, so those all moved. Pick up my tower cards. Don't mind if I do. Got some choices, some marksmen, some adepts. Definitely want to upgrade to some bigger towers next turn. Need to get some more of these bombard towers in. Um, picked them up, spend crystals. Well, let's do it right now. One, two, three. Spend crystals on an artillery tower. Okay. Then we spawn new hordes. One here. Fast moving, big old ogres. One here. More fast movers. Not liking that. One here. What do you got for us? Oh boy, I've never seen that. Let's take a look at what we have here. One, two, three, four, five deadly icons, which means no militia or knights or, you know, the little meeple soldiers go there. Two, anti magic. Three, anti melee. One being a giant knight, dark knight. Wow. I, I'm just certain for certain. Well, I think, I think purple is out this round. It ha I have to bring green back. Purple, I think, has to go away. It's just this one and this one. There's nothing I could play here that would help me anyway. But there's all this orange and green here. Orange and green here. Oh, boy. Um, how do we thwart the this round? It is not looking good. Um, well, we just got to get after it. Malik, we know, has to um, recover this turn. So knowing that, knowing a couple things, knowing that this tray has to die, um, that's important. So where do I stick Malik? So I can deal damage with my other stuff. I think we do this. Artillery here is going to deal the most damage. Light it up. Going to hit three towers, or three horde trays. Can't do the melee here, so I might as well do the anti-magic. Put one here on this fast-moving icon. We'll cover up this lonely healer in the corner here. Mm. Orange. Not oh, orange and green. So I just put that on a purple like a dum dum. Um, so what's going to happen here is green and. Yeah, like a dum dum. Can't put that there. Ooh. I think I really, I, I'm hosing myself on these color lockout choices this, round, this game. It's almost like whatever color I choose to lock out is coming to, back to haunt me in the end. Um, I really am at a loss here. I'm at a loss a lot when I play this game. I mean, is Bertha the best? Thing to put there. All right, green and orange. Here we go. Green here. Raining arrows. Right here. Malik has to. Malik has to go there. That tile has to be destroyed, and I think I could die and regenerate. That would destroy it, but I don't think that's the... Well, if it's not destroyed, I lose the game. So 
So if I die, I don't lose the game. Okay, let's find out. Go here. And recover. Get all my hit points back. And my abilities back. The wizard adept, or magic adept, let's see, does that facing not help me? So I have to, I have to take the hit. Okay, since I have to take the hit, I'll get none of this back. Since I have to take the hit, I'm going to do it this way. Malik, swing that hammer. Covering one space only, giving me three empty spaces, which means I get to place three extra damage on an adjacent horde. Speedy movers. One, two, and three. Okay? Since I'm going to have to die and regenerate anyway. Then, going to place. Yes. Artillery. Here. Fire. Uh, let's see here. It can go on deadlies for now. Cover up this healer for what it's worth. And one here finishing this off because this is melee damage, not magic. So it finishes that tray off. This tray. Green and orange. Okay, I have to cover these other two healers or, or they will heal. So we're going to throw out some archers. Rain some arrows. Right here. Then, wizard tower. Or adept tower. Crack a lightning bolt. Right here. One, two, three, four. I mean, this is ugly. Those of you watching the show at home, this is an ugly situation. I have the option to lay down some more damage here. Um, not in any really efficient manner, just because of, of how the monsters are. So I'm going to upgrade my adept. Go wizard. Don't worry about this tray last. Upgrade my militia to a footman and my footman to a knights. For next round and see what we can make happen. All right. That's it. Still haven't used Magnus Spellbane. Destroy horde trays. Um, only one. That. I take a damage, which puts me on my card on my side. See if that was smart or not. I'm sure it wasn't smart, but it's what happened. I do gain a crystal. Activate Lilith. First, draw a card. Hey, it was smart. Take two damage to any hero that's adjacent to Lilith. Well, I wasn't adjacent to Lilith. So I keep my powers this turn. Then if the space in front of her has no horde on it, move her one space toward the spawn. I'm only two away. Advance horde trays. Well, this is the problem. One, two. Skips, goes here. This one. Skips, skips, skips. I didn't think about this. This moves here. But at least they don't heal. Be much worse off if they did. Spend crystals. I only have one. Go oh, pick up tower cards. Put them all here for now. Artillery. Marksman. Okay. And then instead of picking up Malik's card, I turn him up like this to show that he's used this turn. Um, Regenerating. Spawn horde trays. Well, shoot. This one's going to spawn here. This one's going to spawn here. 
through um, power defense fashion, this is like how it all happens to me on, on apps and video games too. I get really close to the end and then I just, it all comes crumbling down. Purple has to come back. Are we losing green or orange? Let's lose green. Let's lose orange. Just looked at this. Green, green, purple. Surrounding the tile that has to be destroyed or I lose. How do I lay waste to as much as possible? I believe it starts with artillery. Here. Laying down some serious fire. Two in the front. Right there. One on the side. We'll pop that healer. It's green and purple, huh? No melee allowed on those. No magic allowed on those. Okay, marksman. Throw some arrows. Right here. Then purple. Um, no orange. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Wizard tower. Mega lightning bolt. Two, three here. Yep, if it wasn't for this deadly icon right here, we'd have it. No orange. Well, what, can, what else can we do here? Uh, purple and green. So this has to go down here. Uh, oh, this way. Um, that's awful. Hold on a second. There we go. Purple. Uh, this way. A little better. Then archers. Here. Footmen. March to war. Don't give up the castle. Never give up the castle. Knights. Oh, that'll make it not move, but they won't. I'll lose four, five, six, seven. I'll lose seven hit points when this walks off the board. Uh, well, I lose the game anyway, but. Here, more knights. Don't give up the castle, even though I lose. One, two, three. Okay. Destroy horde trays. I destroyed one. Hey. I gain a crystal. Activate Lilith. If she if the space is in front of her has no horde on it, move her one space. If she cannot, you lose the game. That is a loss. Well, um, two rounds away. Oh, I guess first I have to draw this, then activate her. So I destroy a tower near her. I would destroy, I guess, that marksman. So this marksman is destroyed first. That temporal energy is destroying all the towers. Okay, well, that's the way this one goes. I made it almost to the end. I don't know what this final action, I'm going to say she'd move here. Then I would draw this, and then she'd move there. I guess, well, that's the deal. You move her to there, you win. Um, one space toward spawn point three. And this escapes for six, uh, four, five, six, seven damage. Big guys deal four, no matter how much is covered. I have one hit point left. This doesn't move. This moves once. This would move twice. One, two. So nothing else escaped. Another day, another loss in the kingdom. I think the king's going to fire me pretty soon, but I'm going to keep trying just the same. 
Uh, thanks so much, everybody, for showing up today on the live stream. I do appreciate the company. It's always fun having some people to chat with, both in English and in Espanol. Otra vez, gracias. If you're catching this on YouTube later, go back and look at the other episodes. Scenario one, scenario two, and then scenario three is here. As always, I do appreciate you guys showing up. And remember, we'll see you at the next boardroom meeting.